Welcome to September. This month we're looking at what's going on for you with your money in the beginning, middle, and end of the month. What is the theme for your money this month? Any potential new income sources coming through? Opportunities that you should consider? Actions to take to advance your career? What's going right and wrong with your current career path? And then you can also check out what's going on generally for you in the month of September in a separate set of videos. Hey Pisces, so looking at your money and career in the month of September, um, the general money vibe for the beginning is one where you're kind of a little bit sad and maybe feeling stuck or tied to certain obligations, maybe it's contracts, it's like, oh my gosh, when does this end, I just need a break, right? Um, which isn't very dissimilar to the way that the month starts for Aries, so if you have Pisces and Aries in your chart, that's something very particular you'd want to take care of or pay attention to, but they're saying um, there's no reason to have this fear that that's going to continue to be the case, also very similar to Aries. Um, for those of you who are wondering what the middle of the month is going to look like in regards to career finances, um, there's not really much to say. It seems like the beginning and the middle are very similar, and even if you're doing okay financially, even if you're not stressed out, by the fact that you know you have the same bills every month, that your credit card payments don't ever go down because of the interest or your student loans, right? Um, what they're saying is it might not be that. Um, or because for some of you, because it's a career and money combined, okay? Um, for some of you, it's just like, oh my goodness, things at work never change. Like the more it's like two steps forward, two steps back, and I just kind of keep staying in the middle. Um, but as far as the end of the month goes, what is the money? and career vibe kind of looking like. They're like, things um, seem like they're taking forever, and then there's this glimpse of like, oh my gosh, they're starting to work out. They're starting to get better. If only slightly, I'm feeling better about it. So that's good. The overall theme for the month in regards to your money is um, one of confidence. And I, I get, this is so, so similar to Aries. So if you have both in your chart, I would definitely check that out, especially if it's um, Pisces or Aries rising, because your rising sign is what will um, correlate the most to work and money stuff. So anyway, um, it's what you think about, you bring about, right? What we focus on expands. So if we're focusing on how much money we don't have, how hard it is to pay bills, then it's going to continue to be the problem that we experience, right? So we want to think or feel when we are, um, you know, online paying our bills, like, I love that I can do this. I love that every month it works itself out so that I can pay what I owe. I love that I'm getting closer to being debt free and things like that are going to be huge things that will really help you. Um, it might be very challenging until the end of the month to start feeling more confident about your current career path and money situation, but it's very important that you do so. What they're saying here is those of you who um, get really stressed out about work stuff or financial things, you really need to focus on what's going right for you um, and not and try to remember that whatever the past or even the present is, is not necessarily a reflection or a predictor of what's going to happen in the future. People become celebrities and millionaires overnight all the time, right? Um, you can get a promotion out of nowhere, somebody could die and you could take their job. I mean, crazy things happen all of the time. Um, sorry, a couple cards just left out of the deck. I want to make sure I get them all. So these ones come out in challenge position and they say it's really challenging for a lot of you to be open enough to believe that, um, even though you might want that, okay? For some of you, it's going to be even challenging to want to believe that anything is possible um, because you have this idea that somehow if we stay in that mindset, um, that we're somehow protecting ourselves. You know, we say, oh, well, expect the worst, and if it's the best, then it's the best. Um, but the problem with that is if the worst, if you're expecting the worst, if you're preparing for the worst, and then it shows up, it's not to say you shouldn't be prepared and responsible, but if it shows up, you still feel like shit, right? So why are we expecting the worst? We can hope. Why don't we just focus on, you know, hoping that at some point we achieve the best, right? that we get all the things that we want. We don't have to be disappointed. It's silly. It's a bad way to spend your energy. Um, so anyway, 
uh, potential new incomes that could be coming through. They say if there are going to be new income streams coming through for you, it's not because somebody gave them to you. It's not like a gift. It's not luck. It's something that you've created for yourself out of your own passion. So this would be, you know, turning a hobby into a part-time business or something like that. Um, this could even be, you know, maybe you are a treasure hunter. Maybe you're digging in the ground, you know, in Arkansas for diamonds and then you find them. It could be something like that, okay? But it's something that you create for yourself um, if those are going to come through for you. There, let's see, what else was I going to look at here? Opportunities that you should be considering this month, Pisces. They're saying, honestly... If any opportunity comes to you that you didn't create on your own, it's not one for you to take this month. Maybe in October, but um, things that might be offered to you as far as opportunities go, the majority of them are going to be pretty shitty, and you're definitely not going to want to sign a contract. Um, actions you should take to advance your current career path, and they're like, you really just need to figure out how to focus in on it. If you're to focus in on it... Um, they're like, initially, that's going to be painful because it's a greater expenditure of our energy, of our time, you know? Maybe I want to spend all my time working on something else, having fun, you know? But they're saying this is what's going to bring that greater balance and how we start this um, chain of, like, positive karmic events coming to us. The more that we put in this month in, into our career, the more focus we put in, the more reward that we'll start to see towards the end of the month and then into October. So what's going right with your current career path? And they're saying that um, you're actually quite, you know, typically being protective and like defending ourselves is not always the best way to go about things. It makes us a little unlikable and things like that. But in this specific instance, in the month of September, you're actually um, doing yourself a huge favor. So if you're standing up for yourself and defending, you know, the quality of your work that you put out there, or if you are um, buying insurance, you're protecting yourself in some way, that's actually the best thing. They say the biggest challenge for you is just actually focusing enough to get that work done. Um, what's going wrong with your current career path? And they're saying you just might be investing into the wrong um, places, the wrong people, things like that, which is why they're saying if opportunities roll in and they're not opportunities you're creating for yourself, if they come through another person, another party, this is probably not the one to take it. And if you are like, oh, I don't know, because it's a general reading and need a uh, personal one, I have readings as low as $10 and they're guaranteed within 24 hours, so check that out. Um, so as far as all the other things that might be going on in your life, there is a general reading that I'll be posting for Pisces as well, and I'll see you in October. Thanks for getting all the way to the end of this video with me. Click here to sign up to win a free 20-minute video reading. Click here if you want to see the career and money video. And click here to subscribe.